I'm turning computers on left and right, dog. I'm not real sure. Ah! Oh no, Maurice, chill. Maurice, chill out. We've been scared by a lot of things on this channel, dog. By Kermit, we got scared by Ronald McDonald Ball Pit. Today, we get scared by, uh, well, look, it's easy to show you than tell you, dog. What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Grip City Gaming. Welcome to The Lamp Post. A mysterious case of an unknown killer? Kitar? Look, y'all SCP fans down in the comments, let me know how to pronounce that, dog, because I'm struggling right now. Keter Class SCP Lamppost. This is made by the homie Niven, dog, the developer that brought us Primary Color Man and a bunch of other dope games. I played a bunch of these games, they just never made it to the channel. You know how I do. Let's play the game, dog. You hear that growling sound? Is that the sound of the lamppost? I can hear that thing coming from a mile away. This about to suck. <laughs> Oh, where we at? Oh, okay. Did my van? Me and the homie about to pull up? Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP Quadruple X. That sounds freaking horrifying, dog. It's currently under supervision by Team Alpha. Ooh. That me and my squad, Team Alpha? You know we the best of the best. No, we ain't. Not with me in the group. <laughs> <laughs> they are heading towards the location in order to conduct research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses the energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. All right. Is that me included? Or what's going on? Oh, my home is up here in a hazmat suit. What about the cosplay? What's going on here, though? Dr. Hyden, our intel suggests this is a Keter level SCP, meaning that it's difficult to contain. Appreciate you for that definition, Dr. Hyden. You a real one. We should be very careful while observing this object. Don't worry about it, dog. You lucky they call me Mr. Observer Man. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying, you lucky I'm here, dog. SCP Quadruple X doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. So that's why all y'all stand up here staring at it. It still can disappear if you watching it. Can y'all do some work? Golly. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the objects in the area appear from unknown locations. We must contain these objects. That's my specialty. I'm good at containing objects. You ain't gotta worry about that, bro. I'm about to literally get everybody killed, dog. Here, this is the analog multimeter. Appreciate that. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency signals, etc. You can find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. Oh, I knew that. I knew what that was. I'll be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Well, it looks like y'all just standing around. It don't look like y'all doing nothing, if I'm being honest. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant and avoid interactions with the lamppost. And good luck. I right, appreciate it. Uh, is this thing gonna murder me, dog? if I get too close? Y'all ain't doing no work, bro. This dude up here in the front just been chilling. He ain't doing nothing but staring at the lamppost. Are you drunk? Golly. Uh, can I talk to you again, Mr. Cooper? Dr. Cooper? Mr. Cooper. Hang on, Mr. Cooper. Y'all remember that show? Y'all too young for that? You probably don't know what I'm talking about. It's fine. Have you collected samples? We should not stay here for long. You're wearing a freaking hazmat suit. I got on the tank top and blue jeans. Trust me, you fine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious, dog? I walk by a mirror, I'm wearing yoga pants and a baseball cap. Okay, what are you doing walking by the front of the screen? Get back. Dr. Hyden? Golly, you ain't doing no work. Collect the samples and report to me afterwards. My head is killing me. Uh, yeah, if my head was shaped like a Nintendo Switch controller, my head would be hurting too. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Dr. Hyden, can you chill, bro? Why you walk around so much? I can't even talk to you, huh? Nah, he won't even talk to me, dog. Get out of me. Why are you inside of me, bro? Giggity. Regular looking lamppost, right? Let me stand beside you, bro, because I don't trust what you're doing right now. Look how goofy they do look, bro. Talking about you here for medical support. You ain't here for nothing. Regular looking lamppost, right? Except this light glows more intensely, but spans a shorter range. We must be very careful with it. I already feel uncomfortable being here. I can tell you look like you about to duke your pants, dog. <laughs> can I touch this? Oh, if I get close, it makes sounds. Is that good? We might not need to be too close to that thing, bro, because I think they said it's alive. It's a lamppost, but it ain't no ordinary lamppost. You feel me? I think we got to walk around and, like, look for objects that make that same noise or something like that. I'm just guessing, bro. I don't know. Why we got so many mushrooms out here, though? Mushrooms everywhere. Mushroom right there. Big mushroom right there. Mushroom right there. Mushroom right here. What's Super Mario at? He need to come collect these. <laughs> Ooh, these trash bags look like they freaky, though. Some scare going on, bro. What that? Flies or dookie coming up out them trash cans? God, dog, bro. You gotta be funky over here in this corner. Uh oh, something right here. Oh, that's a tape. Oh, okay. I'm just walking around collecting. I'm just gonna scan the area like this, dog. Because that little tape was kind of hidden, you know what I'm saying? So just keep scanning, keep scanning. What about this? What about this bottle right here, Jack Daniels? Oh, snap. Yeah, baby. The bottle of Jack Daniels going off. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> Take that back to the house, bro. Me and Dr. Thorne gonna turn up. He already drunk over there. Look at it. Ain't doing no work. They hired my man to come out here sloppy drunk. What about this? It's just a bunch of random objects out here, too. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what they said, right? They said, like, 
just random stuff showing up in this area because ain't nothing even really supposed to be out here, right? Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Fan right here. I know this fan looks suspicious, boy. Is it some? No, of course not. What about this? What else? Hard drive? Put that in the truck, boy. Install that in my PC later. You know what I'm talking about? You can never have too much hard drive in your PC. You know that though, right? Yeah. Probably a terabyte too, man. We wipe that thing clean and we good to go. A uh, little floppy disk right here? Nothing. Okay. All right. What is some peanut butter and jelly right there? What a bread at? Make a little sandwich over here. Oh, somebody got some coffee, bro. Get that Starbucks. Get that Starbucks. We actually cooking up a meal. We gonna go to the house. Leave these fools out here scanning the area. Cause they don't really know what's going on, be honest. They're probably an ordinary old lamppost, dog. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is a VHS name. Right? It probably is an ordinary lamppost, dog. Somebody done played a prank on these dudes. Told them it's a goddamn SCP out here. They done went and put their little hazmat suits on and everything. Okay, get this one. Is that the last one? Port back to Dr. Cooper. Everything good? Somebody played a prank on these fool, bro. They done all went home, put their hazmat suits on, pulled up in their van, and ain't nothing going on, bro. Come here, come here, come here. Psh, psh, psh. Oh, my bad, y'all. I'm so distracted over here, man. Doctor, I ain't over here trying to f Dr. Cooper. Can I holler at you? Oh, I can. Impressive work. We need to pack these things and get them back to the lab and ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Okay? Do you not wonder where these objects are coming from? I did, actually. We were talking about that earlier. You just weren't really paying attention. The entire road is closed. We barely got through with the van. You saw that too, right? I didn't Actually, look by the road. I'll check that in a second, though. I'm a John! Who is this? Michael Myers' little cousin? Maurice Myers? <laughs> Maurice, get out of here before I call Michael. Mr. Cooper, you don't see this? Turn around, dog. He got to get body slammed up against the van. No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. You're making me nervous just wiggling around in the background. Could it be that this SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Uh, that's a reach, Mr. Cooper. I ain't really sure, but I mean, anything possible at this point, I guess. Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Dang. Oh no, the lamp post. Turn around, bro. What happened? You about to blast off? Uh, it, it's about to take off. Definitely about to blast off. Uh oh, Dr. Thorne, you better get back, dog. Dr. Thorne just got murked. Oh wait, where I'm at, where I'm at? Can I move? Uh oh. What? What is happening? Oh, find a way out. I don't know where I'm at, bro. Am I in that other dimension or something they were talking about? It's a body back here. Somebody just got skin like some KFC chicken wings up in here, dog. I don't know where we at, but I think we dead. <laughs> Date unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It's a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. So I'm in that other dimension that Buddy was talking about earlier because I was getting too close to the lamppost, I guess. Maybe all of us in here, dog. I don't know. My theory is that the vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. Yeah, that was my guess also. A lamppost becomes active when there's a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light. And if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or the person disappear. Dr. Thorne reached up there and touched the freaking lamppost and got everybody murdered, dog. I'm gonna get that fool. I can't wait till I get up out of here, bro. I cannot wait until I get up out of here. Dude, be tripping. Ah! Hello? Hello? Maurice, you need to stop creeping up. Uh-oh, you about to run at me? He gonna run at me. He gonna run at me, dog. Okay, he did it. Is it okay? Not sure. But now I'm on edge because Maurice want to play hide and seek up in here. Is he behind every corner? What is this? Can I pick up this car battery? Weird that it's back here. I don't know. Can I log into this computer? I can log into the computer. Huh. I did not expect to be able to log into this computer, dog. That's why you click on everything, bro. You never know what's going on. That's why you click on everything. I'm scared to go around these corners because Maurice tripping out here. Go this way. I hear something. Oh, Coco, Coco. Some Coco, Coco. Pour me a little cup, bro. Can I grab one? Can I get a drink? 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 I can't get a drink. Dang. What about this head? Somebody got a skull back here. This man just got bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. Shout out Megan Thee Stallion, bro. Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. What about this beer back here? That's the door I came in, right? Oh, this is a circle. This is where I was early? No, this isn't where I was early. Uh, I don't know what's back there. We're gonna go back there in a second. What is this? Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who return. But one thing is clear, those people are not the same anymore. God dog it, bro. So even if we get out of here, we gonna have PTSD, dog. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, right? They're better than Buddy laid over there skin up like some lemon pepper wings, I tell you that. I'd rather get out of here with PTSD than that. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Maurice Myers, listen, bro. I think I left the stove on at the house. I need you to let me dip. That's all I'm trying to say. Can I grab the little floppy disk? Can I turn this other computer on? Yes. I'm turning computers on left and right, dog. I'm not real sure. Ah! Yeah. Maurice, chill. Maurice, chill out. Where is he behind me? Is he behind me? I was saying, Maurice, that I left the freaking stove on at the house. And I would like, what is that big long one? Is that what a spinal cord look like? Or is that a snake skin? Either one is pretty creepy, dog, but... 
Huh, bruh, watch your back. Because Maurice in here tripping, dog. He always want to run up on people. Ain't nobody got time for that mess, bruh. Got me so freaking worried. It's another computer over here. Okay, let's uh check this. Uh, turn your back. Check your back. To when you observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and the blink of an eye will vanish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I done met Buddy three full times, dog. We call it a photon shadow, which was created by the lamppost. It was always around the corner. Yeah, tell me about it, bruh. Every corner I freaking walk around. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro wearing me like a freaking scarf. And I don't even know it. He probably wearing me right now, bro. I ain't got no clue. I knew you was here. I knew you was here. Maurice, you got one more time, bro. You run up, run up, run up, run up. Okay, he didn't run up that time. Uh, I don't really know the significance of these computers, but I know I'm freaking horrified, bro. I know I'm horrified. Oh God. <laughs> Like I was saying, who it is? Dr. Thorne up here beatboxing with his forehead up against the wall, bro. Oh, Dr. Heidi, my bad. Can I talk to you? I can't talk to him. Look at him. <laughs> he getting down, bro. I'm scared to turn around, though. Okay, what is this, an eyeball? But his eyeball is on the ground. Wow. I hope I don't end up like him, but I'm scared to turn around, bro. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, we kind of got away from that. Uh oh I'm worried, bro. Listen, Maurice, you only get three times with me, dog. You get three times to jump scare me, bro. And then that's it. Next time, it's gonna be me and you. Okay. I'm nervous now, cause he could be anywhere, dog. I'm worried, bro. I'm all kinds of turned around and I'm also freaking terrified. It's just me, Maurice, and Buddy around the corner that lost his freaking mind, dog. What's this? Oh, I haven't been this way. Hold on, it's new. Uh oh, yep. This ain't where we need to be. Oh, it's a lamppost. Is that good? Maurice is waiting, bro. I know it. He knew we was coming here. Uh oh, can we touch this? Can I touch this? Can I touch this? I can touch it. Turn your back, cause Maurice coming. Them young boys, them young boys coming. He's not coming. Okay, maybe that's okay. Okay, we good, bro. Whew, we made it out. Okay, we cleared the land, bro. Where everybody else at? Oh, this my little emitter. My homies done left. They done left me out here. Maybe they got folded up like Dr. Hiding, dog. That probably would happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, I ain't playing with y'all no more. Maurice, I'm calling Michael. I'm calling Michael. I ain't dealing with this. Okay, I thought for sure they were about to attack me, dog. I just knew it. I knew they were gonna run at me full speed and they didn't. <laughs> Niven, another banger, dog. I don't know how you come up with all these lore field games, but that's my favorite thing about the games you make, dog. They feel with lore, they engulf you in the story. Dog, if y'all had fun, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the game. And if you had fun today, don't forget to stop, punch that like button, hit subscribe to join the nation. While you're here, go ahead and watch this video right here for me. Till next time, fam. It's your boy, Grip City Gaming.